So with the i8 finished, I had pretty much no more footage to do videos. So I had to think quick and instead of going into a very detailed build on the 918, I decided to do a quick two week build, uh, well two weekend build with this Corvette C7. So uh, this is going to be a shorter video series, still very much in detail about detailing a snap tight kit and getting some good looks from it and then I will start on the 918 after that. So these seats got glued together and they had a weird ridge in the middle that I just had to remove. So I glued that up, cut that off, sanded it down and filled it up and then sanded the filler down. Backs fixed, everything could go into primer, so everything received two coats of Zero Paints Gray Primer, and then the interior received some interior paints, also from Zero Paints called Gray 2. This is a very light gray, and I'm going to do a two tone interior, so this is going to be the centerpiece, and the rest will be a darker gray. inserts received their first color so I let that dry for a couple of hours and then masked it off in order to paint the main interior color. inserts now masked off I could paint the secondary color medium gray also from the zero paints interior color range I applied two light coats, waiting five minutes in between coats, and then moved on to painting some other parts flat black. have now had some time to dry so it was time to remove the masking tape. With all the parts now in their main colors I decided to add some detailing with some gunmetal gray and silver accents along the dashboard and on the door cards.
speaker grills received some silver paint and then I did a wash with black smoke from Tamiya over that just to darken it up a bit and make it a bit more detailed uh, showing the deeper areas a bit better than just one tone of silver. On the dashboard all the air vents got some flat black just to make it a bit different than the rest of the black on the entire dashboard. And some other various knobs and buttons got painted silver just because I like the look of it. With all the details in the interior painted, I started doing the carpet. I laid down a layer of black enamel paints from Humbrol as a glue and a backing color for the flocking. And after that, I just put some blocking on top of it with a tea strainer to keep the hairs from uh, clogging up with each other and making it a nice, even uh, surface. While the paint is still wet, I just put some of the flocking into the tea strainer and then just generously spread it around the wet paint to make it look like carpet. And the point of the paint still being wet is to act like a glue for the flocking to stick to. With all the wet paint covered, just shuffle it around a bit to make sure that everything is covered evenly and then remove the excess material and move on to the areas you still had to do. everything painted, detailed and flocked, it was time to move on to assembly and as this is a snap tight kit, no glue is needed, I just put a small amount on it just to be sure. With that done, next week I will be moving on to the body and chassis, and in the meantime head over to my website thescalemodeler.com, check us out on Facebook, questions or suggestions, shoot me an email or post a comment, and of course, as always, thanks for watching, hope to see you guys next time.